y'all I'm back before this Wi-Fi this 5G or something's been really jacking up with my things lately I don't know what's going on with my gadgets maybe all my car <laughs> I don't know this is a continuation of our you know finding our soulmate searching for our soulmates and uh, coming in contact with our soulmates, y'all, this is a whole different, you know, vibration. You know, they're trying to jack up my frequency here playing with these gadgets, but that's all right. I made some little cards from my little box. This says, uh, smile and be happy somewhere. Smile and be happy, right? And I put little stars and diamonds and stuff all on it. I decorated with some stickers, right? <laughs> I had some stickers I bought from Hobby Lobby and I wrote on all the cards and inside here it says today is a good day to be happy and this is my little note box right of what today's positive positivity happy thoughts will be so in my TikTok I pulled these cards out or on my Facebook live I think it was my Facebook live and it shut off on me and so I got to read y'all the cards that came, you know, with these. And so this is our quest for wholeness and, and to be back with God, you know, is to find that mirror image, that divine reflection, that, uh, that moon and that sun eclipse. Okay. That is our ultimate goal. And that's why people move and celebrities and everybody else move from relationship to relationship is because they're trying to get to this complete you know, it's like in the movie Lucy, when she said, we went from everything, from nothing to everything and back down back to nothingness again. Well, I've been teaching nothingness for years. You know, that that before we were any remotely contracted as property, we were nothingness. We were oneness. And that's where you get the divine, the true divine image and reflection of your mirror. Not that y'all will be exactly everything the same because y'all both have y'all positive and negative aspects, but everything about that person will set you afire. Everything about that person will, will resonate with you and you'll feel like you know this person from many lifetimes ago and you can't figure out what's the connection. That's because your soul recognizes that's that oneness in the stars. That's where you first began as one, like in Lucy, that one cell before it, it doubled and tripled or, or, you know, went to five and six and four and all that other 16, right? That's what you were and your soul recognized it. And even though on this plane, we don't remember because it was so many years ago, we're just now trying to remember and wake up. That's why 2020 y'all is so important. And that clarity is, is you connecting with that soulmate so you can be immortalized, right? You, you find immortality through your soulmate now, but you got to be able to recognize it and you got to be able to heal from broken uh, uh, karmic relationships and move through those soul contracts so that you can graduate and elevate, right? Else you don't, go, you don't gain access. And so you're caught in, like I said in the last video in part one, you're caught in this time loop of repeating the same thing and repeating the same thing because you're not going anywhere. You're just going around in the wilderness like they say in the Bible. You're going around this stone, going around the same stone. You know, it's, it's, a, it's the same face, different energy, y'all. That's all it is. Energy is truly everything. And I've been trying to tell people since I started my comedic arts business, you know, my yoga and Reiki, that energy is truly everything. And that's my motto uh, for my for my logo is energy is truly everything. And once you understand energy, you'll understand this and you will graduate and you'll move through the process a lot smoother and a lot less painful. You know, we're making it complicated. We're making it complicated because we're not paying attention. We're not seeing what, you know, people uh, want, you know, what we're learning through people and what, what we're learning through people and what we have to learn through other people so we can progress and move forward. Okay. Now some people like, oh, oh close them blinds, uh, and your door, close your door. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, and, and people progress how, you know, when they learn their lessons and it's like, you know, take the bushes, you know, for example, because they've been married a long time, right? Well, they say they were soulmates, but okay, they could have been. We don't know. You didn't get a reading when you got married, so you don't know if you're married to your soulmate or not. But if you if they felt this connection that they're inseparable and they just can't live without each other, 
then there most likely are soulmates. Then nothing can come between them and the test of time will stand to prove it by the length of time they're married. And as I said in the first one, I was married 23 years. I can counsel on 23 years, baby. Spiritually counsel you on that too if I want to start that practice because I've seen so much in those 23 years that I already know what it, what it involves. And I went through every lesson of 23 years that it had to teach me when I left. I sat down and for years, I just went in. I accepted, like I said, the responsibility when I left and, I, and the forgiveness was there for me and for him. But it was for me because in order to move on, I had to forgive me because I the one that chose to. I chose that partner too. So you can't blame it on the partner, babies. You can't, sweethearts, you can't blame it on the person, whether the person was good or bad to you. You both chose each other. You cannot choose one without the other one choosing you. Nobody makes you be with a person. You choose to be with a person. Whether you know the person is good for you or not, or whether you acknowledge that the vibration is this low and yours is up here, that ha that's, that's your fault. That's your choice. That's why you know people up here mentally before you try to know, know them down there between the legs, you know. But y'all so in a rush and frisky and manish and all this infatuation and you thinking that's love. That's not love, that's lust. And that's a crash and burn one at that. Just waiting to happen. So this is your, after your responsibility, yeah, you get the, you get the heart's desire. It, the, the, the universe starts working in your favor, moving things around. You start, re, you start meeting people really in line with your destiny to get you to your destiny. Because the other people would have been fake with the fake contract shit. That would have been the old energy, right? So when you made that initiation into that, res accepting that responsibility for your, your choices and partners and lovers, then now the universe, the sun had to come in there and move everything around. Okay, now she's back on track. She got to meet this person, this girl, this lady, this person at this job, this, 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 this at different times in different stages, right? As you've evolved because the, the, the spiritual realm know now your evolution is in process. It's actually activated and in process. So it knows who's real and who's fake. So we just be tuning it out because we're not aware yet of who and what this is that we're doing. And our mind can't conceive or fathom how long ago, how many lifetimes we've actually been here. So we're in the process of a meltdown of remembering, but some people get glimpses <clears throat> of that, of that ancient civilization and are able to channel that met that information. And that's because it was only one perfect civilization one time out of all these other creations. All right. So once you recognize that and you go, Oh damn, I get it now. Now the shit makes sense. We were only trying to complete ourselves like Lucy was saying in the movie, get back to that oneness, that nothingness, because that's where your energy, that's where your power, that's where your resurrection and redemption comes from. That's where your reciprocity comes from. That's where your love, peace, and harmony comes from. And that's the connection that y'all have. And you can't, you can't explain it, but you just know it feels so good and it's so natural and it's so real. And that's that divine love of the universe. So these cards, like I said, came out and it was unreal because a card that I pulled on the shuffle came out for every card that was here to clarify. So I'm gonna have to go back over it. This first one was, okay. Okay. I I think, okay, where I'm just gonna read them and put them with the card to go with. And this is the happy, today's happy thoughts and I had to hand write them, see? That's my little chicken scratch. <clears throat> thank I thank you most high creator for all you do for me and for all the things you continually do for me I love the most high creator with all my heart is that not the heart's desire card like what I just read you loving the creator inside you the original you the original one creation that's perfect, right? That, that was the soulmate. That's why you know it and you don't know that you know it and you don't remember that you know it. You just know that you know this is the one for you. And that's, that's a love that is not infatuation, it's not lust, it's not even physical. 
because the person, you know, won't even, you, you, you're, you know how people we say, oh, that's not my type. Your soulmate may end up being not your type. That's how, that's how the stars align. You don't even know what the person going to look like down here. So to get people that got muscles or because they build or body build and all this, this fake artificial shit and she got weave and makeup and look pretty with all that coated paint on her face. That has nothing to do with that being your soulmate. You're basing it off a of superficial attraction. That does not mean a goddamn thing. Does nothing, does nothing for what's in the heart. Nothing at all. That's superficial you're looking at. You got to look on the at the intellect and you got to look inside that person's heart and see that, that soulmate connection. And if you can't see that soulmate connection, I need to do some Reiki on you. So drop down there and order them services for $85 long distance and let me help you get your life back in order. And, you, and, and break some contracts and some soulmate contracts because y'all need to break some of these attachments so you can find your soulmate. And that's why I'm here because I've done that and I know what it is to do that. And I know what it means. And I didn't have all these certifications and, and licenses for nothing. Okay. It's to guide the people back to their soulmate, no matter what color the rainbow you come from. Okay, you can come from the root chakra, the sacral, the sun, the, the, the indigo, the whatever tribe you want to come from. Okay, I'm here to help you find that oneness, that balance, and that soulmate so you will have immortality and stop creating and reliving these damn illusions and fantasies and this time loop that you're that you're caught in. Okay, because if you don't. Like I said before, you're going to meet this person with a different face and a different name, and it's going to be the same energy. And the first thing we go, are they all alike? Why are they all alike? Because you're choosing them all alike. That's why. It got something to do with your vibration that you're not changing, and you're not what? Accepting re responsibility for. So when y'all ready to set responsibility for yourself, then come find me, and I'll help guide you. Okay? I'll help guide you out of these soul contracts and these twin flames, these false twin flames, okay? The right way, okay? Using the knowledge that I have and the divine wisdom that is given to me, okay, from the most high. So it's your choice. Or you can keep playing these games and being in a time loop. So here's the other card. I appreciate, I am appreciative for all I have in my life. I love and I allow love to be, and I allow love to be love in the universe which is inside you right i am one with my divine creator and my divine creator is one within me that's your divine creator right there that oneness that yin yang she the dark he the light he the six she the nine that's your divine creator right there that oneness and when you find your soulmate within yourself you will find your real soulmate in this lifetime and y'all will spend a lifetime of immortality together and not ever have to come down here again unless you choose to. You won't have to because you've completed you've completed what you needed to complete. And like I said, the only reason why stars and everybody else on this physical lower level of, of, of economics do this stuff is because y'all are trying to complete yourself. So you're using sex as a way to find it and it's, it's imbalancing and it's causing you to web the matrix up even more. You're webbing up yourself. You're digging the rabbit hole even dip, even deeper because you're you're still running from responsibility that you need help because you're not asking for help from the right people. Okay, this one is it's okay. It's okay to not be okay. As this too shall pass. I am not alone. I am all one with the source mother nature. That is so beautiful. Y'all got my soda? Oh, put it up there on the bar for me. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> and so that is what that card says, right? Now, this two here, this has to do with the root chakra. Y'all know I'm a Reiki master. So this has to do with the root chakra and the, the, uh, the root chakra and the sacral chakra. The, the sacral chakra would be the carnelian. I hope my light is getting different here because of this getting dark. 
and I don't have any natural light coming in. So the, this is the carnelian that deals with the root chakra. And I did some, because I'm a Reiki master, I'm going to start teaching you guys about Reiki. Uh, <clears throat> feel free to leave a donation if, it, if it's helping you learn because, you know, I just feel that the more I can get you guys to understand energy, this will help you in what you're dealing with out there. Not just about reading tarot. I, I spiritually guide. I do have a, a spiritual guidance mentorship down below if you guys want to talk to me over the phone you know, or Zoom time or FaceTime, I do have that uh, for that reason. Uh, else, you know, you'll hit and miss what the videos say um, because I won't be able to, you know, pinpoint to your Pacific, you know, uh, mentoring versus this is a general for everybody to grasp. But I felt like the spirit, you know, leading me to teach you guys a little bit about Reiki, you know, the right way Reiki is um, and what Reiki is. Okay, to your life, to you. So this was, I wrote these out. So inside our I am's and empowerments and mantras and gratitudes and a whole lot of other stuff going to be in the box, right? And so I shuffled them like little tarot cards and I just pick which one falls out like the tarot cards. So this is about sacral imbalance, okay? And this is how you tell you got a sacral imbalance, so this is, you will know if this resonates with you or not. Okay. This is timeless. My videos are timeless. So if you have a sacral imbalance and you're, you have an emotional dysfunction in that sacral, you're, you will have an imbalanced sex drive, which means you will have sex too much, not enough or not at all. Right? Like celibacy. So you'll be emotionally unstable, up like a roller coaster. The, the, the hormones is you snapping one day, you're yelling and screaming one day, you're crying one day, you're feeling isolated and bad. One day you're like a roller coaster with your emotions, like a wave, like a damn tsunami wave and shit. You know, you're just blowing up and irritated with people for no reason. That's an emotional instability because you're unhappy and your heart desire is acting up because it's trying to tell you, Get your shit right. You're not on path. This is the way I got to tell you to have you try to notice this damn hurricane and this cyclone, but you're still ignoring it. You go get a drink. You go get a smoke. You go party. You, you stay busy. You, you, you go shopping. You go consuming. You go eating. You eat your emotions away, running back and forth to the refrigerator. Now you're overweight. You find all the reasons, but the right reason. And the right reason is this. You just need to set responsibility so you can start to evolve and take that initiative. So th those are emotional dysfunctions. Now, the physical dysfunction is impotence, erectile dysfunction, can't stay up more than 5, 10, 15 minutes, frigidity, bladder, prostate, lower back pain. Those are physical dysfunctions in your sacral chakra. And the sacral chakra has to deal with your ovaries and your testes, your reproductive organs where you can produce a baby. So if the women got their womb, they still need to know how to take care of their sacred space if they still got their womb, right? If they haven't had a hysterectomy. And then men, if they haven't had a prostate, you know, cancer or anything like that, because I'm a nurse too, or 24 years. So if you haven't had all these things done, or messed yourself up with birth control and made yourself embarrassed, or you can't hold, you know, your, your baby won't last. It's because you have a sacral imbalance. It's because of that, that you can't have the baby, right? The, the, the environment is not feasible to produce life is what that means. And womb, earth womb, mother Gaia is a living organism. So that means something in there is causing your womb to not be alive, to not be a living organism like Mother Earth is. So that's what that means. And so now at the bottom of this, in this book that I got, one of my Reiki books, it was like sacramental. And what this means is communion. And I said sacramental. What does that mean? Sacral and mental. Sacral and mental. So your reproduction organs, your ovaries and your testes is communicating with your mind. And when it's imbalanced and it misfires, 
you get these imbalances. Of, it's more than that, but I just named what was in the book. You get these imbalances in those areas. And so you're not creating life. You're creating death if you do create because there's no connection to the creator. Well, who's the creator? Like we said, this is the creator. Oneness. Nothingness. Look how they looking. They on fire, but they, they so in love, they just glowing with the sun, right? So I said, oh, I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. And so I said, well, dang. This go with this card in sacral imbalance because look how orange, look how it look. Just like the sacral, just like the, the sacral crystal, the carnelian. It's the exact same color. I said, wow, ancestors, wow. This is deep. So now, I said physical, emotional. I said, wait a minute, this is not it. That's not all. It's some more to this. And they said, yeah. Look again. I said, wow, it was right in front of my face when I wrote it this morning. And I didn't even see it, you know. I saw it this morning and I was like, it's something about this card that it is not. But I kept writing to fill up the card, to fill up the box and get it over with because I didn't want to write it in the first place. And they made me sit down and write it. So I ended up finishing it this morning. The emotional part is the woman and the physical is the man. The emotional part is the woman. And the physical part is the man, the white in the yin yang. Let me come back this way. In the yin yang. So see, that's where the emotional, that's where the imbalance, the dysfunction between our physical and our emotional is. And that's why we cannot get to the oneness that's within us. That's why. That's why. That's why I was led to put this on my YouTube channel and, and, and pick up these tarot cards so I could teach you all what the spiritual aspect of it, it is because I'm a spiritual person. I'm not a religious person at all. So don't get it twisted. I, I joke and say Jesus and Lord, but that's not who I'm talking about. I'm talking about my creator. That's mine. I got all my incense stuff is getting on my cards. That's mine. That oneness right there. That's my creator. And if you had a parent, if you had parents that were in love with each other and that, that created out of this oneness, that's your creator. That's your creator. The law of one. Because you had a you had a union. You had a, your parents came from a soulmate connection. And not everybody parents came from a soulmate connection. That's why y'all out here running around here trying to chase y'all soulmate now. And you can't recognize it because you're not on the right path to, to do it. But you can still get it, even though your parents, because we're individuals. We're we're